Welcome back to IoT series. In this video, we'll be discussing the important questions of IoT subject. We'll look into the module-wise important questions, or we'll also deal with the passing package and what are the modules to cover to get minimum 60 marks. So let's get started. If you're new to my channel, do check out the IoT playlist. I've tried covering all the all the topics, uh, all the modules in a detailed way. Make sure you check out the playlist. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of the updates further. So let's get started. First module is very easy one. It's about introduction to IoT. So the first question is defining IoT and mention the features of IoT. There are seven features like scalability, identity, efficiency, flexibility, and all of that. These two combined could be asked for 10 marks. Next, we have the most important question of this module. That is evolution of IoT. Evolution of IoT consists of 10 parts, 10, um, 10 aspects which have contributed to evolution of IoT. So make sure you watch that video because it has been detailed ex explained there. Next, we have the technological interdependencies of IoTs with other domains and the networking paradigms. So technological uh, interdependencies and uh, the network paradigms, we can ask the differences between IoT, machine to machine. We have cyber physical system. Then we have uh, uh, internet of things and uh, internet of environment, internet of people, all those things. So you have to explain what are the networking paradigms and what does it comprise of. And uh, yeah, this is again a 10 mark question. The differences could be asked here. Next we have uh, enabling IoT and complex interdependence of technologies with neat diagram. So again, there are four planes here, that diagram of service plane, local connection, global plane, and processing plane. So again, this is an important topic, which could be asked directly for 10 marks. We have is the IoT networking components with figure of typical IoT networking ecosystem. So the ecosystem comprises of different nodes, and then gateways are there, uh, connecting them with LAN connection, WAN connection, and all of that. So again, there are six components in this. This question could be asked for five marks because it's a pretty simple one. Then we have the key addressing types. So key addressing types, key addressing types, there are ULA, GUA and all of that. There are seven key addressing types. Again, an important one. Then we have address management classes. So there are seven classes with each class. There's one diagram. So make sure you don't miss out this question. And then what are the strategies to ensure uh, portability during no, uh, node mobility? There are three types here. So even cover that as well. I would say, that first module is very easy and it has very limited topics. So if you cover these eight questions, you'll be all done with first module. So do check this out because 20 marks you can easily get in first module. Moving on to second module, we have, it's very easy, very easy module and you can easily score marks here, right from the differences between sensors, actuators and transducers. This could be asked for five marks. Then we have defined sensors with uh, simple sensing and uh, operation that is Environment would be there, the temperature sensor, then sensor node, and then monitor would be there to display. This is an easy question again. Then we have types of sensors. So different types of sensors are there. Draw that. And what are the classes or uh, characteristics, uh, considerations and classifications of sensors, properties, sensor operation, power, all of that. And then we have characteristics of sensors, sensor resol resolution, accuracy, processing, and all of that. Functional blocks of typical IoT sensor node. So again, there is sensor and then processing unit, um, uh, audio, radio unit, and all of that. So it is again an easy question. So all these questions are, are five mark uh, questions, which has a simple diagram and then explanation would be asked. Then we have sensor deviations and errors. There are nearly 10 types of errors and deviations. Out of these, any five could be asked or five marks. So make sure you don't miss out the second question because it, it majorly comprises of the a large chunk of second module. Okay. Then third module, uh, then third topic we have is actuators and simple actuation mechanism. Again, very easy. Then types of actuators, there are seven types. Then actuator um, characteristics, there are four characteristics. So I would say that if you're covering first question, second, if you're covering first question, second question, and third question of these, uh, the second module, you'll be all done with this module. These many questions, if you cover, you'll be all ready for the second module. And you can easily score 20 marks here as well. I would say that don't miss out first module and second module because you can easily score 20, 20 here. Moving on to third module, again, it has very simple topics, very limited topics, right from uh, what is data format, what are the types of data for format, critical data, very time critical data and all of that. So just this can be for five marks. Then we have uh, explained types of data processing. Again, this is a five mark question. Then what are the processing topologies? Again, a very important question. This could be asked for 10 marks because there are two types of processing topologies with diagrams. So make sure you don't miss this out. Then we have IoT design and uh, Selection considerations, again, a very easy question of five marks. Then we have processing offloading with a neat diagram. Processing offloading, two types, again, further divided into two types, remote and collaborative. So make sure you don't miss this out because this is a very important question from this module. Next, we have 
three key parts of data offloading that is under this offloading only it will come so right from the offload location offload decision making and offload considerations there are three three parts or subdivisions here so again as i told this could be merged with the other questions and asked so i would say that third module is again a very important module and you can easily score marks here so first module 20 marks second module 20 marks third module 20 marks you will get the passing package here cover these three modules will be all set for the exam next fourth module in fourth module uh, we have slightly um, uh, nearly 10 to 12 topics but then here uh, again i have listed down only those topics which you have to cover so start from the IEEE 802.15.4 so this is a very important question because there are nearly four to five subtopics under this and if you cover these topics one among these topics would be definitely asked for exam it could be for five marks or ten marks so don't miss this out next we have zigbee and various communication protocols or to topologies in zigbee again you have different types of communication which happens in zigbee again zigbee is also a very important topic next we have thread architecture thread architecture is very simple thread or the typical isa 100.11a so again out of these two one could be asked these two are very simple ones so you can easily uh, explain it then we have wireless hard network architecture again it is very simple one all these architectures you know, they, could, they could be asked for five marks and two of such protocols could be clubbed together then we have explanation of rfc uh, rfid and nsc so mark this as very very important question because any one out of these two could be definitely asked so don't miss this out then we have dash 7 z wave deployment of uh, communi and communication architecture again five mark question then we have concepts of weightless again five mark question then we have sigfox communication architecture again five marks then we have detailed explanation of lora wi-fi and bluetooth again out of these uh, any two could be asked for 10 marks so i would say that in fourth module don't miss out the sixth question and tenth question one six ten don't miss out at any cost and in general also if you are covering these topics you will know, be all done with the you'll be all done with the fourth module so don't miss this out so i'll mark it out one six and ten are very important followed by that two is also very important and here seventh question is very important so if you are covering these ten questions you'll be all ready for the fourth module moving on to fifth module i would say fifth module has again a large set of topics under it and there are two different chapters here so explain various iot communication protocol groups so you have a diagram in which there are five protocol groups you need to explain all that in short short points then define what are constraint nodes what are the types of constraint devices and what are constraint networks so again a theory topic 10 marks it could be asked then we have under infrastructure protocols let me mark the important ones we have ipv6 and ipv4 this is very important next we have is load engine uh, routing mechanism this was asked for 10 marks in internal so it is very important then we have the micro ip and nano internet protocol and ccn these three are again very important because they are tiny tiny topics they, all three all these three could be asked for 10 marks together along with this look at rpl also and uh, uh, lo wpan so again this is also very important next coming this was about infrastructure protocols coming to the coming to the discovery protocols we have physical web uh, and uh, mdns and universal plug and pay play so these are again tiny topics all these three could be asked together for 10 marks so second infrastructure and discovery protocols don't miss that out at all next under data protocols we have mqtt mqtt is a very important topic so figure would be asked for mqtt how the communication is happening what is the operational principle all that should be explained mqtt alone could be asked for 10 marks okay? so don't miss this out and an upgradation of mqtt is mqtt sn so do check that out i have uploaded module wise videos i have detailedly explained all these topics so do check out the playlist and uh, not just that i've also uploaded the handwritten notes so right from right from the first module this is for the first module this is for the fourth module this is for the third module this is for the fifth module so don't miss out uh, the important topics okay do, do check out the notes and i've tried writing the notes in a very simple way understandable format for me to study and for you to refer as well so make use of the notes and prepare accordingly next we have uh, xmpp and rest and web sockets are again important topics under data protocols then identification protocols all these three are important club together they can be asked for 10 marks then we have device management uh, device management is not that important so you can skip this but do uh, just refer these topics once because notes check out in notes very tiny topics very simple next we have semantic protocols 
json ld and web uh, thing model again club together 10 marks it could be asked then interoperability dlna connects uh, unplug and uh, universal plug and pay, play and lawn works again together could be asked for 10 marks so out of all the topics here i would say that definitely don't miss out i would say that don't miss out first question don't miss out second question third question is very important fifth seventh and eighth are very important along with that fourth is also important but the ones which i have underlined are the ones which are uh, really important so make sure you don't miss out these topics and uh, yeah do check out the notes do check out the playlist i've tried explaining all the topics in detail and this was about the important questions video this this pdf would be available in description and module wise notes are also available in description okay to conclude iot subject is very easy provided that you you strategically prepare for all these questions i would say that these questions have been curated by comparing the previous year papers and uh, the internal question papers so make sure you don't miss out these questions and uh, study well all the best thank you